While we're discussing rates, it's important to go through a quick note about catalysts as they relate to chemistry. Catalysts can work in a number of different ways, and often an enzyme is a catalyst. Those have many different functions, and that will be discussed in the biology section. But for chemistry, what you need to know about a catalyst is that a catalyst somehow lowers the activation energy of a reaction. And because of that, it increases the initial rate. It makes it easier to overcome that activation energy necessary to get into your transition state and make the reaction move forward. You've seen this graph of reaction quotient versus energy. It could be Gibbs energy, it could be enthalpy, it could be just pure energy. But what a catalyst does is it lowers that activation energy. What a catalyst doesn't do is a catalyst does not affect the equilibrium concentrations of things. So K will not be affected by a catalyst. Part of this is because notice that it, reverses, it lowers the activation energy for the forward reaction, but it also does that for the reverse reaction. So you will still reach a point where the forward reaction and reverse reaction are moving, forward, moving at the same rate. And because of that, you will reach equilibrium. You may reach it more quickly. But a catalyst does not affect the equilibrium concentrations. It's not going to affect equilibrium overall. What else a catalyst doesn't do is it doesn't change the overall energy, the thermicity of the reaction. And that's because notice that compared to your initial position and your final position, it doesn't matter whether you take the catalyst path or you take the uncatalyzed path, but in either case, you're going to have the same delta E. And this delta energy could be the change in enthalpy, it could be the change in Gibbs free energy, or it could be expressed in the thermicity. It could be exothermic. It will be the same amount exothermic. And so with catalysts, sometimes they try to trick you into asking about whether catalysts change the equilibrium position or whether they change the overall energy difference between the reactants and the products. And the answer is no. What catalysts do is they increase the initial rate of the reaction, and they do that by lowering activation energy. The way that they operate is a lot based in biomolecules and enzymes, and it can also be related to the Arrhenius way of expressing rates, because the Arrhenius equation considers the orientation and the energy threshold necessary for a collision to result in a reaction. And so if a catalyst does something like changing the orientation of a molecule, which makes it easier to react with, that's an example of how a catalyst is working through the Arrhenius collision model. But the most important thing with catalysts is to realize that they lower the activation energy and increase the initial rate without changing any of these quantities, the equilibrium or any of the overall energy exchange that occurs as you move throughout this reaction. That's the important thing about catalysts for chemistry, and it's tested a lot to make sure that you understand what catalysts do and don't do, and that's all you need to know for those.